So welcome back to the Olympic Sports Centre Gymnasium here in Zhengzhou for semi-finals day at the Victor China Open. Well, one more semi-final to come and it's the second of the men's doubles who will join the current world champions, her son and Setia one in tomorrow's final. We know it will be an all Indonesian affair, but will it be uh, the Asian Games gold medalists and current world number ones, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio, or will it be the pair that they beat in the Asian Games final? Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adianto. We're about to find out, but before the players come on to court, quick look at the men's doubles draw once again. And only six seeds left at quarterfinal stage. The only two seeds that didn't make it through to the quarterfinal were the two finalists from last year. The defending champions, Astrup and Rasmussen, lost in the second round, whereas Han Chen Kai and Zhao Haodong lost in the very first round to Bo and Conrad, new pair from Denmark. Now, I was telling you that it's only the second time that we've had three pairs from the same nation at semi-final stage of a Premier Super Series or World Tour Super 1000 event. The only other time was 2012 at the Korean Premier Super Series. But I can tell you that we've had four pairs from the same nation in the semi-finals and that's only ever happened though at grand prix gold events 2012 malaysian masters 2013 indonesian masters and the 2013 korean masters as well so we've never had as the current world number ones come into the arena we've never had in men's doubles discipline in any super series or world tour event of this level all four pairs from the same nation so here are the asian games silver medalists fajar alfian and mohammed orian adianto what a thrilling final it was in jakarta at those asian games last year in fact they had a match points in the third game failed to convert, eventually lost the final to their opponents of today, 24-22 in the deciding game. And that's having been 16-11 up in that decider. So this will be the sixth meeting between these two pairs. And of the previous five, Gideon and Sukumolio have won four of them, including the last time, which was the quarterfinal of this year's Singapore Open. 21-18, 21-10, and it was only 26 minutes in duration for Gideon and Sukumolio's victory in the Singapore Open. One of the five previous encounters between these two pairs, three times it's gone the three to three games. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, 28 years of age, born in the Indonesian capital of Jakarta. And he and his partner are enjoying their 116th week in total as world number ones. Lost in the semi final last year in this tournament to Han Chen Kai and Zhao Hao Dong, who then lost in the final. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio is 24 years of age, turned 24 last month, born in the port city of Bangiwangi in East Java. And in the very first round, they beat the world championship silver medalists, Hoki and Kobayashi. Uh, then they got revenge for their defeat at the world championships last month against Choi and Seo. Came from 14-17 down in the opening game before winning it. Saved two match points in that deciding game. And then in the quarterfinal yesterday, it beat the Olympic silver medalists, Govi Shen and Tamwe Kyong in two straight games. So to Fajar Alfian, 
24 years of age, born in Bangdung in West Java. Two places down from their career high of five. Last year, they lost in the second round of this tournament, having beaten the number three seed, Kamora and Sonoda, in the first round. Mohamed Rian Adianto is 23 years of age. And they won the Swiss Open earlier this year. And so far here in Changzhou, all of their matches in two straight games, including only 21 minutes against Dusara and Zhongjit in the first round. And then in the quarterfinal, once again, for a second consecutive year, beat Komora and Sonoda. So our court officials for this one. Stefan Vernet of France, the umpire, and Mai Lang Yen from Vietnam, the service judge. Well, this pair from Indonesia, the number one seeds, going for a career grand slam because they've already right. won both the All England and the Indonesian over the first two years of the World Tour. And by Grand Slam, I mean Super 1000 Grand Slam, career Grand Slam, winning all of the three different Super 1000 events. So the world number ones, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio, our side of the court, getting this semi-final underway against Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Orian Adianto. Well, he is extremely quick at the front of the court. Well, he's very quick all over the court, actually, Kevin Sanjay Sukamolio. Uh, but he's especially potent at the front of the court. Oh, dear. Got away with that. That's a disappointing error from Ardianto. Ah, oh, well, that's what I mean. Good return of serve, and that interception on the fourth shot. Just lightning fast reactions. Certainly ready for that. Five, I'm a little lucky two. on the net court. Well, somehow Alfian and Ardianto need to stop their opponents from attacking. Easier said than done. Pushed it wide. Seven, two. Eight. Oh, what a good drive from Gideon. Oh, 
this is just incredible. Well, first of all, men's double semi-finals. I thought that was all happening in double quick time. That was only 31 minutes in total for the injured son and Seti one to get through. Well, mid-game interval, 11-2. And am I seeing that right? Is that really three minutes? Surely not. Yeah, it really is three minutes. Good gracious me. I wonder what our fastest match of the whole tournament is. Not counting players who retired injured. Well, Alfian and Ardianto, as I was saying a moment ago, beat Isara and Jongjit of Thailand in the first round in 21 minutes. Oh! And considering we have a two-minute interval between the first and second game and two one-minute intervals in the mid-game of both games, so that's four minutes of downtime. That was only 17 minutes of actual play time in their first round. Well, well, they're just totally and utterly dominant at the moment. Three. World number ones. Put away by Alfian. Yeah, it was an easy opportunity. Oh! No, no, no. You can't do that. He was caught on the flick serve, got back, played an outrageous winning smash. That's just incredible. Yeah, it's a good placement of the smash towards the right hip. Clearly, one would assume this opening game is beyond Alfian and Ardianto, but they've simply got to play themselves into the match. Otherwise, they'll start the second game with no belief at all. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, behind the back. Good defence from Gideon. It's gone long. Game point opportunities already for the world number ones. Nine minutes on the clock at the moment. Oh, extraordinary. Just long. Opening game, 21-8. All in double quick time. Nine minutes. That's just ridiculous. No coaching staff involved with both players from Indonesia. Well, the obvious thing to suggest is that Alfian and Nadi Anto need to change their tactics. But quite frankly, how do you change your tactics when your opponents are serving well? Intercepting third shots. Attacking well, defending well. How do you break that down? It's a quandary. Just got to force yourselves to keep working and keep believing. Now that doesn't help their cause at all. Yeah, that's better. The semi-final started over 12 hours ago. The fans would love to see a good tight contest in this last of the semi-finals. momentum that dreadful miss by Gideon well, that's just going to well no that's put my theory to bed hasn't it you never know sometimes just one shot one rally can change beliefs
That's certainly a better Three, start. <laughs> Longest rally, 19 shots. <laughs> Dear me. Service over. Five. Three. Well, over. wasn't ready for the first serve, and Six, then when Ardianto serves again, he makes the error. Smash from Sukumolio. Smashed in such a place that his partner was able to intercept the defensive shot from their opponents. Oh. Well, just proving Five. that he too is pretty sharp at the net. Marcus van Alde Gideon. Nice placement, I like that. That was Six. towards the right hip Eight. of Gideon. Ah. Yeah, so one left, over. it was a call from Sukumolio. Sukumolio <laughs> stepped into that drop shot, anticipated it completely. No, it was earlier than that. Totally changed the momentum of the rally. Oh, challenge here. Yeah, I have a feeling that was quite flat. It may well have been long. Certainly, Alfia and Ardianto think so. First challenge of this match. Indeed, it was long. Good challenge. Correction out. Service over. Seven, ten. Play. to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Gideon and Sukumolio. Seventeen minutes in total. <laughs> Halfway through the second game. Minutes. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's do this. Oh. 
Seven, seven. And they've certainly Play. given themselves a chance in this second game. Alfie and Anadiento, only four points in it. Totally outclassed in the opening game. Service over. a super interception and a super change of pace from Alfian. 25 shots longest rally of the match so far Such good no. skill from Sukomolio. Oh. <laughs> you you really have to see it to believe it. I mean, how on earth does he have such fast reactions? He's standing at the front of the court, so he's got less time to see the shuttle. swing of the racket and then plays the little block just watch his racket here that's fantastic such a dynamic exciting player Sukumolio are getting longer aren't they beats the previous longest rally by one shot Stefan Bernay giving Sukumoli all a warning you really have to be ready service over 17, 11. Uh, well played by Alfian. 12, 17. Cross court net shot. Did the damage. Oh. Oof, he was mighty close to touching the net there. Eh? It's all fast and furious, isn't it? Getting longer and longer, these rallies, aren't they? <laughs> oh, good defence. That's magnificent from Alfian. 
14, 17. Brilliant. Look at that, just inside the line. Hey. Service over. 18, 14. Hey. Long, two points away 19, from a 14. place in the final. Oh. Service over. Fifteen. That's one 19. apiece. Well, the challenge is from Alfie and Ardianto. And they've lost that challenge, so it's match point opportunities now. One challenge remaining. Service over. 20. Match point 15. Five match point opportunities to be precise. Oh, that's well saved. 16, 20. Second match point opportunity is converted. And the match won unbelievably in just 25 minutes that's yeah, absolutely extraordinary marcus finaldi gideon and kevin sanjaya sukkamolio in a repeat Marcus's of the Gideon's asian games final last 21, year 8, 21, absolutely take their teammates apart beating oh, alfian oh, and ardianto oh, in two straight games 21 8 21 16 in 25 minutes. So, as they take leave of court, we can reflect on our second session of semi finals here this afternoon. In total, the six of our semi finals went the full distance, including three this evening. And it all started with the reigning world champion, Kento Momota, beating the reigning Olympic champion. Came from 15-16 down in that deciding game to win six straight points and close it out 21-16 in an hour and 27 minutes. Then in the men's doubles, despite the fact that Mohamed Hassan appeared to be injured and unable to move terribly well, they still... He and his partner, Hendra Setiwan, still beat the former world champions. Saved a game point in the opening game, but totally dominant, as you can see in that second game. Only 32 minutes. And then uh, a wonderful men's singles with Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, the defending champion, setting up a rematch of last year's final against Kento Mamoto by beating the world championship silver medalist, Anas Antonsen. 21-14 in the deciding game. Three games in the women's doubles with the Olympic champions and defending champions here, Matsutomo and Takahashi, beating the three-time world championship silver medalist Fukushima and Hirota. 21-16 in the deciding game. And as we've just seen in double quick time, Marcus Fanali Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio uh, beating their teammates Alfian and Ardianto in just well, it's been rounded up to 26 minutes, 21.8, 21.16. So that concludes semi-finals. Finals tomorrow, 1 p.m. local time. That's 0500 GMT from all of us here in Zhangzhou, especially from me, Jill Clark. We'll see you for finals tomorrow. Bye for now.